Great. So with 53% of India's population still dependent on agriculture, uh, many of these individuals still struggle to maintain these livelihoods. So what we do with Digital Green is that we partner with existing livelihood programs of large government programs like the National Rural Livelihood Mission, NGOs, and others who are already working with these rural communities and trying to train sort of these rural communities uh, to share information with each other on sustainable agricultural practices. And we use technology in the form of participatory videos, videos that are produced by the community for the community in the form of short eight to 10 minute videos featuring farmers, sharing a testimonial, demonstrating a practice that are shared primarily offline using this battery operated projector that you can see in the lower half of the screen, where a facilitator from the local village essentially screens these videos amongst various types of farmer groups, mostly women's self-help groups. So far, about 4,000 videos in 28 different languages have been produced. These videos have been, are screened on a fortnightly basis amongst about 700,000 uh, farmers, 85% of whom are women, uh, and where the role of this facilitator is not just to show this eight to 10 minute video, uh, but to pause and rewind and ask questions and get feedback and use the video to initiate a conversation amongst these communities so that they can actually share their own innovations and share their own experiences about how they're taking these practices forward in their households and on their farms. As these videos are being shown, data is captured by these village facilitators on who watched what videos, what questions these individuals expressed, and uh, what practices did these individuals actually apply or not apply afterwards. Now that we have a database about se of 700,000 odd individuals, each of whom are watching about one video every two weeks, this is a pretty large uh, and useful database to be able to mine so that you can see, for instance, what's the most popular video in a pop particular place, or what's the least popular video in a particular place. In addition, we capture all this qualitative feedback as well uh, that helps to inform the production of new videos based on frequently asked <coughs> questions and allows for these videos to be shared across various geographies. The number, number one and number two questions that we get from the communities is not about the economics of these practices, but rather what's the name of the person in the video and which village is he or she from. And many individuals actually are excited about featuring in these videos so that they can be seen as role models within their respective communities. In addition, we have built a tool uh, called Farmer Book, which is essentially a Facebook of the farmers that we work with, all 700,000 of these individuals, where you can see a timeline-based activity feed of the various videos that just this one individual woman, for instance, has watched over the course of time, which of these practices she liked, and which of them she asked a question about, which of them she may have actually applied and took it forward on her farm, and how that compares with other women in perhaps her women's self-help group. As sort of we're seeing this massive urbanization of India, we're also trying to see how we can connect these rural individuals with urban middle class folks who generally are, on, are very well connected on places like Facebook. And so we built a game on Facebook called Wonder Village, which is like uh, Farmville and Cityville. And you can build a virtual village economy with your Facebook friends, but along the way you have to build this village together with a virtual community who are the actual farmers on Farmer Book to kind of bring together these rural communities together with these online urban communities in a fun and educational sort of way. I guess the main thesis of all of our work is in the last 10 years that we've been doing it across nine states in India and about 9,000 villages with these uh, uh, 600 or 700,000 odd individuals has been that the digital layer is just one part of the puzzle. That's why we partner with public, private, and civil society organizations that have invested in all this infrastructure of human capital, social institutions, and finance, that once we bring in this use of technology in all of its various forms of video and social media, that we can actually amplify the, the great work that they're already doing. Thank you very much.